y'all doing, man? Look at this goddamn ass whooping to all those who Giant fans like myself. I'm losing faith in the Giants. I'm being real with you. Cowboy fans, I know you enjoying the shit out of here. Hey, man, I appreciate if you subscribe. I definitely reciprocate. I definitely will reciprocate. Remember, we all we got. Hey, yo, you know, son, real talk. Giants got to get rid of, uh, they got to get rid of uh, Manny, man. He brought, he brought two chips to New York, but he's scared to death that he is. Yeah. Last quarter. He got what he wanted. He got that money, man. Brought in was not drafted. It has the makings of something really special once they get them all locked up. Black, hold him. Hey, get off his head, man. You ain't the police, man. Like you trying to kill him like the police did that black dude. Come on, get off his goddamn neck. Back that thing up. Hey, man, I ain't doing nothing. I ain't doing nothing. And so Back and that thing up. They get together and you may have seen the end of Amari Cooper for the game. Remember, he missed the preseason with a bruised left heel. Hey, man, stop being nosy, man. Get away from the ref. Yeah, and I would think that's the last we see. Hey, what's that book on your nose? Well. No, nah, man, that's one of them African rings. Oh, shit. We look like my man named Zuba. Little warrior named Zuba. All the work that Tony Pollard got in camp and practice and... And we didn't see him really worked into things in the passing game. Man, I really thought the Giants was going to do something in this fucking game. Oh, man. Personal foul unnecessary. 15. Lowering the head to initiate contact number 20. Okay. For the offense. That's five thousand dollar fine. You get five thousand dollar fine. Stupid shit. Hey, man, what I ain't gonna get to look on this, man. That wasn't me. I ain't did nothing. That a bitch. Another five thousand dollar fine. You get fines for stupid shit. I bet you they won't make dumbass fucking plays. In-house rules. You get caught some bullshit. That's how we gonna straighten the game out. Cause you ain't got five thousand just to throw the fuck away. Ah, fuck you mean, no, he loves his team. He been coaching for how many years? A few years? Get your ass over there. Uh, give me them legs. You know, without legs, you can't do no running. He's going to be taken over soon at one of those linebacker spots. And he's gotten plenty of action here today. But he's, he appears to have a bright future. I know Dave Gettleman is sure. Yeah, man, but it would be much better if you win. Nick Bam in his defense. Giants ain't shit. He can play. I like him. And he should get more and more time as the season wears on. And now is. So what? What they gonna do if they get it back? There's no coming back from this ass whooping, man. Now you can let all your rookies play against these motherfuckers. Take the stars off. Uh oh, he gonna take Manny's place. Hey, he once you in the game, put your helmet on. Oh, man, you ain't shit, you motherfucker. Yeah, you brought two championships, man, but that's it, man. Time for you to give it up. Stop being goddamn selfish, man. You ain't you ain't gonna do shit for that organization. You did it already. Step down. Hey, man, let the ball go, man. You ain't scoring no touchdown, man. It's okay, man. He said it might be the last time I touched the ball. Yeah, you seen the last game he uh but the but the preseason games ain't shit. At some point, 
The shit these players going to bring on him. Hope he prepared. Shit. I mean, I'm pulling for Eli. Bullshit. This is a team more on the defensive side of the ball that just looks like it has a lot of holes. I don't know if that's going to be possible. Here's Barkley. Oh, a little draw play. He's got a first time. There's so many sides. Man, let's just sit him down. Fuck that guy. This quote during the preseason. You can ask me all you want about why I like him. I think it's time to start asking the people that didn't like him what they think, quite frankly. The guy who was a lot of grumbling on draft day. He was booed at Yankee Stadium. He's in great company in that category. <laughs> but he's done nothing in the preseason except accept the Giants. Preseason? There's no real defense in preseason games, man. So... Preseason. The schemes they're going to be sending on them is going to be confusing. You know, preseason game ain't shit, so. And it's a different deal when the season kicks off, but there's a lot to like here, and there are a lot of angles to this very delicate and tricky situation for the Giants. With the passing of the torch. Ingram, nice throw. Too late for all that dumb shit. Really good throw, and yeah, just to follow up, Joe, I, I like what I've seen. Everybody likes what they've seen. I like what I saw. He's a fourth quarter quarterback, man. And bring the three, bring quarterback in for good, who's good for three quarters, then bring Eli in for the last one. His place in the history of this game. He plays too scared for me. Talk about this dude. Who is this? Nice carry by Goldman for 15 yards. Let's go to Kirk with a game break. All right, obviously Kyler Murray was the number one overall draft pick and grew up in the Dallas area. So man, give me that, man. They gave him ass with me today. Garbage. So far, not so good. He had an interception. Garbage. Three passes batted down. Was Garbage. Four times. So far, they're in the fourth quarter. 12 of 31, 121 yards. One Nothing. One for six yards. Nothing. And they're down 24 yards. Garbage. Here's a pass to Goldman who takes it inside the five. Thanks, Kurt. Yo, they be hyping up players, man. They hype them up, you know. And when they come to the pros, college is totally different, man. Shit. All that shit you was doing in the college. Touchdown. For the touchdown for Goldman. Yeah, it's too late, though. Hey, man, get him up, man. Get him off the ground, you freaks. Touchdown already, motherfucker. Let me say, yo, too late for all that. Touchdown. Touchdown. He, he, uh, touchdown! But the point was how Eli has... Fuck you, man. Uh, he ain't did nothing. The owners did that. Fuck you, man. He ain't brought nobody in. He about to be gone his goddamn self. Talking to Pat Shermer. There is a genuine relationship between Eli Manning and Daniel Jones. And yeah. Pat Shermer. You're like, yo, you're going to take my place, man, because I'm, I'm finished here. Talked about it. All right, and I, I want you to pay attention. Not to my me, me losing. Genuinely likes and appreciates how good Daniel Jones is. Hey, pause. But, you know, he's been the, the epitome of class. Uh, that whole Manning family is. So you just, I, as a quarterback and, and no Hey, I'm talking, like, man. Look at me. Why are you turning your head around? Look at me, motherfucker. Like that. But, you know, I knew. I knew when it was coming to a close. And it's it's not a great feeling. And, and I know that Eli wants to go out on top. And, and it's not going to happen, really man. Thing, Fuck what he want to do. It's, it's, it's over him. for him, man. The Bring the young boys in there, man. And, and Just step Maddie aside. You got two rings. Regroup. Motherfucker been regrouping for how many years now? Shit. Outside of Saquon, Giants ain't shit. Hey, pay attention. I'm over here talking, motherfucker. Fuck you looking up for like you ain't trying to hear what I got to goddamn say. 405, four touchdowns, no picks. And he has a perfect 158.3 quarterback rating. Going against the Giants. Shit. Honestly, everybody knew this was going to happen. That the Giants is not, ain't got nothing to hold the Cowboys with, man. It's just, you know. 
Man, y'all can just knee the bitch now. Just knee it. Oh, motherfucker. Let's move forward. About two minutes with Dak Prescott and know there's something really different and special about him. And I'm really proud of him and the Impressive. time he's put in. And yeah, I want to see you when you go against quality players, man. That's what I want to see. Pause for me, man. You had to clean the screen. Next Sunday, a huge doubleheader on Fox. The early game, the Cowboys take on the Washington Redskins. Oh, garbage. Then America's Game of the Week, Drew Brees and the Saints take garbage on Jared games. Goff and the Rams out in L.A. Rematch of last year's NFC Championship. Fuck, man. What happens on Fox and Fox Sports app as Pollard carries and Jenkins brings him down. Timeout taken by the Giants before third down. Rams got a win on the road at Carolina, and the New Orleans Saints will play on Monday Night Football tomorrow. Yeah, I'm going to go get my hair done. It's up, man. And my shit growing? Take on the Houston Texans, and they kind of pushed all their chips to the middle. The Texans with the trips. Hey, man, yeah, we did it, man. Yeah. Hey, you want to buy that oil wheel I got off the block? Hey, we talk about that after the game. Made up a lot of draft picks to make that happen. Including two first rounders. So they're going for it here in 2019, the Texans. It's the only thing they got right there. Just like the Lions when Barry Sanders was playing. That's one running back that's supposed to have rings on his fucking fingers. They just let him, uh, he couldn't do it by himself. Get your ass over here. No, nah, nigga, get over here. He lost four yards. Three. By Zimenez. The rookie out of Old Dominion. Go for it. Down. For the Cowboys, that's what's coming up. The Packers and Saints going to be a problem. Redskins ain't shit. Dolphins ain't shit. What the fuck, man? They jumped out ahead of them and surprised me a little bit. You know, the way... From what we expect of Philadelphia, but they rally back. Hey man, who fucked your head up? All that money you got. Stupid. Two minute warning in our Hey man, I ain't did nothing. Yeah, like he was drunk. I just seen this goddamn commercial. This is 2019, right? And they show the commercial with like with a thousand white folk and one black that the, that one a bleg and Toby person. I, I don't get it. Leads us to I don't get it. Why can't it be 50 black people and one white folk? He ain't got no blockers, no helpers. All them slow ass fucking runners on that goddamn field. Stupid motherfuckers. He had no protection over there. Man, nah, too late for that. Terrific general manager when Elon Manning was brought in talked about how she this did has that to be get it. This has to be handled with class, and you always yeah. have a soft spot for the guy who won for you. That's Elon Manning. Hey, that was how many years ago, man? God damn. Torch, you don't believe right here. Shit, man. Man, go ahead. This is business. It's supposed to be business, I thought. Regular season NFL. I don't know Which what the fuck y'all thinking. They are gonna go no huddle or just try to run the offense. Hey, man, somebody get open. That's all. Fuck a call. Just get open. Good catch. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just somebody get open, man. Fuck a huddle. Just get open, man. I see you. Hey, call, bitch. Well, you put him in then on the previous drive so that he can just execute the offense. So he's going to let him just run the offense, run some plays, kind of get his feet wet. And he got his feet wet in the preseason, bitch. Team, can you fault Eli and say this is on him as to why they've lost? Yeah. He's actually yes, playing you pretty well. <laughs> get off me. To a man. Well, you're talking about Shermer, offensive coordinator Mike Shula, who we visited with for a long time before the game. Dave Gettleman. I mean, he's almost better than advertised. They knew they liked him, but now that they've seen him, Mike Shula was saying, I've never seen a 22-year-old kid 
as relaxed and well, always as he is. They almost compare him to like a young Eli Manning. That's right. And I asked Pat Shermer yeah. what's the one thing that maybe he didn't know about him when they drafted him. He said it's just how poised he is. Coleman spinning catch out at the 45. And me watching him in the preseason. Hey, I man, they should have did that from the, from the jump. And this is his pro day, too, but I just marveled at his ability to get the ball out on time. It's just not something you see a lot of in today's passing game. He was well coached at Duke, and he's a smart guy. All right, go left, man. Uh, Rich and eggs. Mac, you come back with the with the button hook. Yeah, yeah. No, no, fuck it. Somebody just get open. Oh, that shit confusing. You just don't see very often. 961 total yards the most in the series history. Allison downfield. It's out of his reach, and Jones got hit. Tyrone Crawford with yeah, the that's you're gonna be right expecting. You know, I would point out that get you know, your ass over here. No, don't throw me down, ball in my head. Sent his ass across the street. I don't get him, and he's been in the crosshairs for a lot of people on some of his moves, and I, I like what he's done. I think he's built a real foundation. This is a better football team today than. than don't forget to subscribe, y'all. Remember, we all we got. Oh shit, he gonna run. First down. No, 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 he down. Down, bitch. He down. Get off the ball, bitch. Let's go! There's an area of his game. It happened in the preseason. Fumbled three times in August. Two of them he lost. He also had this problem in college. You know, you and, and it's yeah. He got he got his hands the size of Trumps. You tiny ass hands. They go after the football and they know how to do it. But he ball security is clearly the one area Ruling where he on the has to be better. Corner was down by contact. Well, we're gonna get a booth review. It's under further review. This ball is. And then there was a clear recovery. Hey, asshole. Get up and throw the ball quick. You motherfuckers act like you're on vacation or something. Stupid. I said that earlier. Didn't I not say that? College game totally different. Preseason game totally different than the real thing. You might as well go sit your ass down. Sit down, shorty. Little hands. Sit down, little hands. Smith was the first one to get his hands Yeah, yeah, I fucked up. I fucked up. Hey, man, it's all right, man. It's all right. It is their ball. Let's go. Welcome to NBA. Welcome to the NFL, shorty. Your first goddamn shit, all right? A 158.3 is a perfect passer rating. He is the second Cowboys quarterback with a perfect passer rating in the regular season. The only other one belongs to Craig I, I, I don't know who coming up with these graphics. I, I would have swore. I would have swore it was he was the third quarterback that no, done that. No, see, here's the deal. Uh, <laughs> you had a quarterback rating of 158.2. So by a tenth of a point. You missed a perfect quarterback rating back in 93. Yes, yeah, so that's more than I knew. I mean, he came close. It was a good try. It was, it was, uh, it was awfully good for for this offense and and, and and for this team. Like I said, when, when the schedule comes out in... After hearing the play, China. the ball was loose prior to the quarterback contact in the ground. It's a fumble recovered by number 24, the defense at the 38-yard line. Be Dallas's ball that Turn your helmet backwards. Backwards, bitch. Fuck it. Excuses right now. Damn, I ain't think I ain't see it, boy. Oh, man, I ain't see it. Shit the fuck down. You might as well left that other bum in the game. And that's why week one is so big. Hey, man, I seen all them black motherfuckers coming, man. What I was supposed to do? Good and crazy. They look crazy. Hey, man, I know I know the feel. Need it, man. That's it. Hey, man, why you... Look at this nigga. You seen that shit? Shit, there's nobody even near the dude. Hey, man, we got the first game, y'all. So I said, yeah, but them, we, we ain't play nobody. Look at all them big ass smiles, like they won the championship. All those smiles in the huddle. This is a hey man, what's that was stuck on his face? In choices for Dak Prescott every time he drops back, Gallup with a huge game. 
And all that for what? Just say, yo, Ned. That's all we gonna need, man. All that other bullshit. Let's go, y'all, Ned. We got Elliot, Witten, and Jarwin. Hey, man, what's all that bullshit for? And then Pat Shermer gets to go in and answer questions. Let's do the right crack here. You sure about the quarterback position? Fairly you can say, nah, sure he's going to be the quarterback next game. Defense, which had a rough uh, day Junk in the trunk. Got it. Both of these motherfuckers. Don't forget to subscribe, man. We all we got. Hey, man, I'm playing with you, man. Cowboys offense here in Arlington.